The views, comments, and opinions of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of Morris Media Studios, MorrisMediaLive.com, or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. With crystals like folders, picking up momentum, rolling like boulders. They call me ice, but I'm really much colder. My rhymes is heavy like the weight on my shoulders. I'm spitting that red hot smoldering lava. I fight to the end like the Navajo. Crack a bottle though, make it the goose with cranberry and triple sec. Triple my check, I feel the ripple effect of a fool on the loose. I hit you from every angle, from obtuse to right. Street shit like JJ, I'm dino. Might slide me some dough. I show you an execution in the flesh and promise not to leave nothing left. If you bomb it, I keep stabbing, shooting, damaging, looting till it ain't no disputing who the greatest is. <laughs> that, shit's, that shit's still firing season three. Oh, uh, wow, that's special, man. I think still that's firing season three. Still fucking fire, man. That's all that spits. Hot lava, niggas. Haven't been it able to it. catch the whole joint yet. Oh, you still haven't, huh? I still haven't learned it. Oh, you still haven't learned the whole... Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's so It's because the cadence like, ah, right. The pattern is nasty. It's nasty. Poet is probably up on it, though. Nah, I see it on her face. No. Poet has got no. patterns <laughs> she upon no patterns way. in her head. <laughs> she like, nigga, I haven't even tried. What up, party people? It's cracking. What's cracking like it, man? Man, Thanks for joining man. Mike Robertson Boulevard. Yeah. Get the engine running. Engine's running. What kind of car did that sound like? A bucket. <laughs> <laughs> a hoopty. A fucking a bucket. A fucking bucket, man. You ever had a bucket, Melrose? Hell yeah. I've, all, I've only had buckets. You've always had no, buckets. I'm a, I'm a bucketeer. I'm a bucket connoisseur. <laughs> Why waste your money on a fancy car? Why get a lunch pail when you can have a bucket? Why get a lunch pail when you have a Brown paper bag. Paper sacks. Yes. Damn, man. What's your worst bucket? My worst bucket had to be my first car. It was kind of like a broke down RX3 Mazda. Ooh. It was kind of fly, but it was bucketish. Yeah, like when you tell people about it, it's fly, but when Only they see real, it, it's a bucket. Yeah, but if, it was fast. Because you're like, hey, baby, I got that RX3 outside. Monster. She and like, when she get outside, she'd be like, the fuck? That's a monster. The fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? The fuck where I'ma sit? What type of nigga is you, right? Move to McDonald's bag and chill. Sit in the front seat with me. Ain't that something? Yep. My first bucket was a Honda Civic, 1972. 72 Honda Civic. Let me tell you how bucket this shit was. Basically, before we got the car, the shit was on a tow truck on the freeway and fell off the tow truck and got hit up and shit by cars and shit. And mm. then... They sold it to us for like three hundred dollars. <laughs> Nigga, that shit was fucked up. The sounds, driver's side door was not closed, man. That sounds overpriced back then. But it ran. It was like forty-two miles per gallon, nigga. That oh, yeah, shit yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. valuable. That was definitely one of those. Yeah, and the gallons cost about like a dollar twenty, nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, my Mazda was so bucket that I don't know if you ever had a car that had terrible wheel alignment. Like, if you oh. let go of the steering wheel... Oh, it's like, bang! It will bust a right turn, <laughs> right? The motherfucker will bust a full right. So, uh. one day I'm rolling. This one will fucked up the car the most. I'm rolling. I see one of my uh, homegirls. I let go of the steering wheel. The motherfucker crashes right into a parked car. Bow! Wow. Just so happened. Let... Somebody sitting in the motherfucker. Oh, so you got a case. You got a bucket <laughs> and a case. Huh? And, and my fender <laughs> falls off. <laughs> It so wasn't even an episode run. where I could just leave. I Is this the Mazda? Out. Yeah. Oh. Fucking Mazda. Damn. Was your shit like rattling when you were trying nah, to hold nah, it? No, no, no. It didn't rattle. But when you let go of the steering wheel, the motherfucker bust a full right turn. That's how bad the alignment a was. A full right turn. Imagine that. Damn. Full so right turn. So when you're driving, you literally have to do it like this the whole time. Yeah, like your You're literally like turning your, left the whole ride. Look, your right arm be like, yoke yeah, this yeah, shit, yeah, huh? Yeah. Like, ah. <laughs> Ah, that's pretty good, Melrose. Yeah. Well, look, man, my little Civic, dude, the trick about that car is that the driver's side door did not close, dude. It, it couldn't lock and shit. Mm. So when I 
was driving, yeah, I, and it. I closed the door. No, I put the seatbelt through the handle and then clicked in the seatbelt on me. And that shit that's kept a, the door closed. That's a bucket. <laughs> that that's is a, you, a bucket. You've out bucket me. <laughs> that is a bucket, you man. Just top my bucket. Then I can take it further. One of my homies got his fucking older brother who didn't know shit about cars to help me with my fucking door. He said he could do this shit. Nigga said for $10. I was young. I didn't know that $10 couldn't get you shit with a car. Gave this nigga $10. He f- he got the door to shut, but the shit wouldn't open. That's be- that's better. I think that's better. Hey man, is it better? So look, when niggas roll with me, because there was only a two door, it wasn't right, no backseat. Right, right, right. Niggas all had to get in yeah, from the yes, passenger yes, side. Yes, yes. And we all got in and out like that. You didn't dukes and hazards your shit, like. Nigga, hell through the no. window? Oh, no way. Uh, you on that tall shit. Little nigga like me would have went through the window. Damn, you would have done it like on that, On some cool huh? shit. On some cool shit, though. You would have perfected it? Ah, uh, like, ah. Nigga did. First he was walking, and now he's in the car. <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> Dukes and hazards. That was that era. That, like, should have been your first move. I know, man. I don't know, man. I, I was trying to be too cool. Yeah. Too cool niggas didn't jump through windows, you nigga. can't be cool. They had car doors a, that work. the fucking passenger <laughs> side with all your friends, nigga. That's not cool. That's not cool, yeah, man. that's not cool. Nobody wanted... Niggas wanted a ride, but they didn't want to ride with me. Uh, but they niggas needed to get where they was getting, nigga. That shit worked, goddammit. I ain't going on no dates either, but that's a whole other story. All right, man. Let's talk about what's trending. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me introduce my main man, Mr. Melrose. Man? Uncut hey. the most what? Interesting comic in, in the, the world. world. And that's the entire world. I've been searching high and low, and I can't find a more interesting comedian. Damn. So, Melrose, if you jump up in the air, who's the most interesting comic on the world? I would not know because I wouldn't be there. <laughs> but Why are you in I, the air? Yeah. Why are you in the air? Like uh, It's up for grabs. Yeah, it's up for grabs. Ah! Oh, and now he's back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he doesn't jump very high. <laughs> <laughs> Comedians can't jump. Oh, uh, fucking funny. All right, let's talk about what's trending, man. What's trending, Mike? Apparently, okay, earlier this month, China fucking flew to the moon. Did you know about that? I had no clue. China shot a rocket to the moon to the other, to the dark side of the moon. Okay. Right? Okay. Where no man has gone before. Okay. okay. They planted some cotton seeds on the moon, and the motherfuckers are starting to grow. And people thought shit couldn't grow on the moon. So you know what that means, right? They're trying to bring back slavery. Slaves in space, baby. Slave space. <laughs> space slave. Slaves in space. The China man coming with the space slave. These huh? niggas planted cotton. Is that why cotton? Is that some robust plant and shit that could grow anywhere? Nigga, why the fuck would you choose cotton, man? It's just trying to. I don't know, man. Uh, that's a cotton picking shame. Climates. Extreme climates, it must be. It can grow where there's no oxygen and shit. Is that a- <laughs> Don't plants need oxygen, water, oxygen, and sunlight, right? I know. Did they even go? You think they went, Melrose? I don't know, man. The, the the I've heard a lot of people say nobody's ever been to space. Not until two weeks ago. So n- no man has gone oh, to space. Oh, really? You've yeah. heard that where? In the barbershop? Everywhere. Oh, in more places. There's no actual footage of any return shuttle coming into the atmosphere. There's no footage of a spaceship coming back. Well, there's recent footage. This company SpaceX. But I know what you're trying to say. Apparently, Melrose, up in space in orbit is a bunch of what they call the de- de- debris. And it's basically pieces of big-ass pieces of metal. Some are really small, microscopic. And they just forever in this orbit in, in space because there's little chips and pieces and shit of the rockets are all up there still going mm-hmm. like... Okay. What Apparently, they got, what they got to do with the camera? The camera? Yeah, like, like, I would think at this point you would be able to have a motherfucker camera in the cockpit when a nigga is coming from space. Hey, into who's talking the... about cock, man? <laughs> you? I said a cockpit. Oh, stupid. Nah, I feel you though. I, I don't know. Maybe there are uh, Chinese in, in space. Planting cotton. 
Picking cotton. Picking if cotton. You plant, you got to pick it. All right, man. Next item. Who's watering it though? Hey, right, man. Oh, they got this little like um, slow release water type shit on it. It doesn't go. But I wonder what it does with like, because it needs air, man. That's the other element. Plants need air. <clears throat> mm, makes you know. say, hmm. Next item. This is going to make niggas very mad and very upset. Netflix is raising their prices in the United States. Where do we live? In the new United States, man. Netflix is raising their prices. You know where it's going from? $11 to $13 per month. Ooh. Ooh. Somebody going to be mad. <laughs> Ooh. You know niggas will call in and complain like, what the fuck? Yeah, man, y'all changed my shit, man. I'm on a fixed budget. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have Netflix, motherfucker. <laughs> Netflix, man, is a good, best deal in town already. Everybody on a fixed budget loves the iPhone. Like, how the fuck can you be on a fixed budget and have the most expensive phone in the universe? I know. Exactly. With it's no data a, plan and shit. Nigga just... Unlimited everything. It's <laughs> yeah. Text type. Yeah. Talk all day on a fixed <laughs> budget. Like, nigga. Fuck family, friends, and weekends. God damn it. I'm 24-7 with this game. It's motherfuckers. All right, man. I don't know. I'm going to keep my Netflix for two more dollars. What else is trending, Mike? Trick. This is very interesting about animals. It's trending. There are two cats that live alone in the Silicon Valley in an apartment that costs $1,500 a month. Mm. Apparently, their owner got their two cats their own place. That must be some good pussy. <laughs> Some good pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Got plural pussy in that apartment, baby. Nah, man. Like, is that like the ultimate of excess, dude? You're going to rent an apartment for your kids? It's fucking dope. If you could do it, do it. Oh, it ain't tricking if you got it? Man, come on. It what ain't else? tricking if come you got on. it? $1,500 a month is nothing for my two little pussy cats. <laughs> yeah, get these motherfuckers out of my yeah, house. Get them out of, I don't want my one couch they just messed up cat is hair $3,000. Fuck that. Right, exactly. When I want to see y'all, I'm coming to your place. Damn. My place? They must be oh, side the cats. They're they side cats. <laughs> they side cats. They side pussies. <laughs> they side pussy cat. If they were real pussy cats, they'd be in the big yeah, house. Yeah, they get they, they have a little mat and shit right in the room. There's a dog in the house. All right, this one, it was strange, man. About one of my favorites in the game, Rihanna is in the news. For what? Rihanna is filing suit against her father. For? Get this. Rihanna says that her father, Ronald Fenty, that's his name, and his business partner are are profiting off of the use of the Fenty name. Oh, that's bullshit. (laughs) What the fuck? How dare a Fenty profit off a Fenty? (laughs) Right. Hey, Dad, you had the name first. I made it famous. So now I'm mad at you, Daddy, for profiting off of the Fenty well, name? whoever knew Ain't Rihanna that his was name? a Fenty. No, she got a product called Fenty or something. I thought she was just Rihanna. No, like her, what does she got like, um, I don't know, she got some like brand she made for Fenty. I don't know. Who knows about that shit? Who, Who knows know about Rihanna? it? I don't know. But dude, you're going to like sue your pops for his own, for using his own name. He had it first, man. What kind of ridiculous shit is that, dude? What kind of world are we living in Rihanna's where Pops, your name ain't whore. your name no more? She's being a whore. Rihanna's so fine. She's Control fine. yourself, girl. She's trying to whore the name. There's enough whores to go around for everybody? Come on, Fenty. Re- oh. Relax, Rihanna. <laughs> Before we call Chris Brown. I know. Can't, Pops can't get no money. Get Brown, you know she got enough get money, Chris dude. Chris on the case. <laughs> get, you, get your car ride with Chris. We don't make me this. call Breezy. Don't make me call Breezy. <laughs> going to put you in the car. You know what's going to happen then. Oh, man. That was low down. It was. No disrespect. <laughs> All right. This one, man. This is trending, dude. Bad Boys 3 begins filming. Who gives a fat fart? What? Flying fuck, man. Really? Are you waiting on this movie, Melrose? Bad Boys 3? Waiting? No. Excited that it's happening? 
Yes. You saw two? I saw one, two, and I can't wait to see three. You ain't that a bitch, really? Don't be Mel a fucking Rose, hater, man. You ain't seen no movies hater. and you seen B- Bad Come Boys on, 2. Man. I got kids. You know I had to see fucking Bad Boys 1 and 2. Man, when we going to get Several some new times. ideas in Hollywood? When we going to come up with some new shit, man? We there is a new like, idea. Bad Boy 17, nigga. Yeah, Die Will Hard. Smith die Hard again. And, 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 and Martin Lawrence in wheelchairs oh, and shit. Man. Nigga, when the fuck is it going to end, dude? Don't be a hater, man. Let them let them brothers live. Let them brothers make their money. <laughs> let them brothers do their movie, man. Let them brothers. You want to be in it? Mike I do want to be, be in it. it. Will Smith, <laughs> call my agent. <laughs> I want to be in it. Mike y'all wants nigga, to be in it. I want to be that nigga that call. y'all chase the whole film and... You never catch. I want to be that nigga. Mike wants to be in the movie. Come on, man. Relax. Let them brothers do their thing. I do. Thing. I would want to be in We're the movie. We're looking for another Friday. We want another uh, Rocky. Friday 1 was good. Coming to America oh, 2 coming. Coming. Thanks, What, Polis. you mad about that, too? No, I want to see that. Ah, oh, you fucking hey, look, hypocrite. Let me tell you, no. The reason is, Coming to America 1 was a good movie. Fucking bad boys, man. Come on, man. We had our favorite guys in the film and all that shit. That shit was uh, not good, nigga. You can't another, name, say, name no lines. Another black on black crime. Melrose. Huh? Give me one line from the goddamn film. Mike Lowry. What? Mike Lowry. Really? <laughs> Mike Lowry. Can anybody fucking validate this? <laughs> <laughs> what? Who is that? Mike Lowry. Really? In what? Yeah. Bad Boys 1? That was 1 and 2. Oh, he said the same it's a, it's shit in two movies? a recurring line. Mike oh, Lowry. that's why it's whack, man. Whack. That's exactly Lowry. what I'm talking about. Melrose, that is not your f- favorite film. All right, look, man. I like my, Martin Lawrence in films. Will Smith is good in films, but I'm not, I don't fuck with Will Smith. Oh, uh, we going to hate on Will Smith, one of the no, biggest man. box office smash actors It's not hate on Will world? Smith. I like Will Smith as a rapper fuck. more, dude. Oh, you want to put niggas in a box. Okay. <laughs> okay, I get I it. Hold you back. on. What's I want to hold you down, down to 86. Hate, hate is trending. I want to hold you down to 86. I know. Tra- hate is... Uh, hate is trending. Is, uh, on, on, on the Mike Robertson show. <laughs> hate is contagious. Hate is trending. Uh, fucking funny, nigga. All right, look. What else I got? Okay, that's the end of that. Okay. All right, look, man. This next item I want to talk about, man, is something I just got introduced to this past weekend, Melrose. What were you shit, introduced And I am enjoying this shit. Let's talk about it. We are talking about CBD oil. CBD oil. Are you up on that? I'm not. All right. Let me tell y'all people, man. I've only been using this shit for like three days, man. And I feel fucking great. Melrose said he thought I didn't, but I feel great, man. Basically, man, CBD is an element of the marijuana plant. Okay. Of its 130 medicinal uses, one of the medicines is called CBD. Okay. CBD basically damn near cures every ailment that you have. Okay. Because what it does is it adds youthfulness into your life. Okay. So, like, everyone is born with CBD in them. Right, they got receptors, but over time, um, you know, Starts it just kind of like will fade away. Right. Exactly, and that is what makes you feel like you like getting older and you're aging and shit be hurting, little bumps and bruises. Remember, like you could like fall down and fuck yourself up, nigga, and the next day you'd be good. Mm-hmm. And now that shit lasts all month and shit, right? So, nigga, what that shit does, man, is basically refresh your body, dude. And, How do you uh, take it? Do you rub it in? Do you drink it? You got do these you little drops under your tongue. Okay. So, like, literally, the first night I did it right, man, it gave me so much energy. I couldn't even go to sleep. I said, okay, I can't take this shit at night. I got to do it in the morning. Okay. I could not fucking go to sleep, dude. Okay. And it cures, like, your stress, uh, any anxieties, uh, pains through inflammation. Uh, it's, like, incredible, man. Where do you get it? I got it from this cat that I know is dude, J-Ro from Alcoholics. You know J-Ro? I don't know him personally, oh, okay. but I've definitely So he heard now has like a CBD company. Okay. It's called Dr. Robinson. And uh, I've been seeing him post the shit or whatever. And then my other homie, Izai, who worked with them, was like, man, I've been taking this shit since March, nigga, and I just feel great. And I was like, really? And he started explaining it to me. And I was like, man, what the fuck? Let me try that shit. And dude, I must say, man, it really What's some cost? cool shit. It sounds expensive. Well, the little bottle costs like $35. Okay. 
So you just one drop? Not like one, like you know, a little series of drops. Okay, little little three pick. Little 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 like little dropper, you know, little dropper yeah, type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You let that shit fill up like halfway. Okay. And then you, or you could fill it up all the way and then like squeeze some out. Mm. And then you could just be like, ta 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 ta. Mm. Mm. Try to tell you, y'all look it up, man. Go to YouTube and say all the benefits of CBD oil. Niggas will, you will see, man. It don't get you high though. Let's not get you high. That's good. The TS, <clears throat> THC in the plant is removed from this element. So it's all about the medicinal. I thought I spread that knowledge, man. Hey, man I want Y'all some. motherfuckers need some youth, youthfulness in your life? Nigga, get you some CBD oil. Nigga, put that shit under your tongue. Nigga, I you'll be doing push-ups, dance moves. Is there a website you can go to? How do we how do we get our hands it's on It's all some over oil? the place, man. But if you want to see the thing is I've been hearing about it for quite a while, but I never really had like a trusted source that I could really trust a nigga and say, like, nigga, what is this shit? But you now that I got that's a homie. A, that's an that, alcoholic? Hmm? Come on. I know. Catch that up, is kind of weird. Catch up. It is kind of weird. This nigga is a yes. You're fucking alcoholic. <laughs> I'm gonna trust a I'm gonna trust a alcoholic. And he homie. knows about drugs. <laughs> <That> fucking... <laughs> Get my oil from? Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> man, I trust that. Man. All sense. right, man. All right. So what are we going to talk about today, man? We're going to play this game called Fuck, Mary Kill. Fuck, Mary Kill. And then we're going to talk about chances. We're going to talk about appropriate times that we give people chances. When okay. should you give people chances and when not? Okay. You up on that, Melrose? I'm up on it. All right. So let's start with this game called Fuck, Mary Kill. Basically, I'm going to put up a picture of three lovely ladies, Melrose, and you got to decide who you're going to fuck, who you're going to marry, and who you're going to kill. Okay. You got that? Got it. First category is talk show hosts. We got Wendy Williams, we got Oprah Winfrey, and we got Whoopi Goldberg, Melrose. Who you going to fuck, marry, or kill? I'm going to kill Wendy Williams. Oh, right off the bat like yeah. that? You got to that kind of quick, man, bro. Yeah. Why are you killing her? I just don't like her stilo. Like, there's something very aggravating about her. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> it's just you're done. You're yeah, goner. Yeah. Okay. I would definitely fuck Whoopi Goldberg. Oh. Just on some wildlife comedian fun. Oh, really? Yeah, on some wildlife. Oh, shit. You know, it look like Whoopi got some good butts, eh? Oh, are you thinking that, I think Melrose? So. Look at how she got her hands like that. Oh, that's good pussy hole. That's, that good, on that's you, good pussy huh? hole right there. Like you can't get up, Melrose. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. And definitely, I would marry Oprah. Really, you're marrying Oprah? Yes. Oh man, every day you're gonna be with that. No, how that's you, why. Because how can you? Turn she's down? never gonna be around. Yeah, she's never <laughs> home. <huh? laughs> Okay, look, let I me think about all this. All the See? benefits of a wife and never be around. It's... Oh, a rich billionaire wife. Ah. Oh, God. Honey, where are you? <laughs> I'm oh, in Spain. Yes. I'll be back next year. <laughs> okay, I may fly out. <laughs> I may fly out in March. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you be having paparazzi around oh, you. Man. You can't have no, you could do no action. You could get no action, Melrose. I wouldn't need none. Let me tell you this. If I, okay, so. I pulled these people up here, and I didn't really consider it, right? But I think I'm with you on Wendy Williams. Right off the bat, she's the kill. She talks too much shit about everybody, and she looks super nasty like a goddamn... I'm not even sure if Wendy Williams is a woman. Man, I have met her in real life. She has manly hands and She is very manly-ish, and she's big as fuck, and And she's tall. There's a hint of Adam's apple. And she talks like this. There's a hint of Adam's apple. Yeah. I have seen it with my own eyes. The Adam's apple? I've seen the whole get up. Yeah, I think it's something something fishy yeah. about Wendy. And she talked too much shit, dude. Yeah. She looked like a fucking... To be too, she's too fucking tall to even fuck with. Like, right, exactly. She looked like she always about to tip over and shit. Yeah. I don't know. She got to go. But then my next choice... I see, I don't know if I want to marry Oprah with all the billions. It's like, man, I feel like, man... See, Oprah feel, look like somebody that, like... On a regular daily basis, she don't be getting all like made up and stuff. So she'll throw that like Harpo on your ass, nigga. Yes. On a yes, daily basis. Yes. You wanna be fucking with Harpo forever? Yes. I can't do it, man. 
I can't do it. I have to pass on the Harpo ishness forever. I think I couldn't marry Whippy Goldberg. Fuck no. Okay, I'm with you, Melrose. I think I mean, we agree. If, you, if you're not willing to I, fuck with Oprah on a harp I know. level, how can I marry? <laughs> Whoop, okay, Whoopi gets smashed. You would fuck with Whoopi on an early morning? Oh, God. <laughs> hey, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> with the locks and fucking it's without six, the wig? It's 6 a.m. You would do that? Oh, I could not do it. Wow. Oh, wait, the locks without the wig? You think the locks are a fucking wig? No, no, no. Sometimes she will wear a wig and it'll disguise the locks but i mean wait just, what you have never seen whoopi in a wig hell no explain what you're talking about a wig over the locks yes they what? break they break that shit down and put a nigga they are putting wigs on everything i have not seen whoopi with a wig google potus yeah in the film oh in a film she definitely don't walk around in a fucking wig oh well you put it like that man all right yeah you could wear a whole. She glam it up sometimes. Costume in a film. And yeah. Shit. Well, she glams up sometimes. Glam. Glam. You giving Whoopi glam status? I give her on her level glam status. What I mean, you she, mean? She glams up like on what some Whoopi mean? Goldberg shit. She on a red a carpet, you be thinking she glam? Wig, uh, lipstick. Uh, you know what I mean? Melly Mel. I don't know about the glam. Hey. Some people, some people can't glam, Melrose. <laughs> some people are unglamable. Everybody don't get to glam, dude. Hey. Their their degrees to glam, yes. And some you know is I mean? some is slam. It wouldn't be what some they are call. glam, some is slam. They wouldn't beat. You know, she like she beat. She wouldn't beat, but she put on some makeup, some heels, and fucking wig, beat. little dress. That's what they say. She's beat. Her face is beat. Never heard that. No, I heard that, but right. I, I don't, don't get what you're stupid. saying though, man. You that didn't really work, right? You there. got any more fuck kill Marys? All right, man. Next one, actresses. <clears throat> we got Gabrielle Union, Megan Good, and Taraji P. Nick, who you going to fuck, marry, or kill? <clears throat> I'm going to marry uh, Chick in the Middle. What's her name? Megan Good. Megan Good. I'm, I'm marrying Megan. This nigga don't even know Megan Good. I do. Sorry, I just, nigga. come on, my nigga. Come on, man. You got to ask her her name. I How forgot just that Blasphemous. Fast. I was looking in her eyes. She had me all She had you all shut. She got me right there. She had there. you all shook. Yeah, like, it looked like she looking right at, at me. you. It looked like she looking right at me. You were shook, Melrose. I okay. will marry Megan. Okay. I will fuck Taraji. Okay. And I would kill Gabrielle oh, Pussy. You can. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what? Oh no, you I can't would, do that. I could kill a pussy. No way. I gotta kill her. Mm-mm. She gotta die. The killing of pussy nigga gotta be one of the mother's two. Nigga, nah. she got to be dead. No. Nah. You're gonna kill her I'm with gonna fucking? Kill her. I'm gonna fuck You're gonna her kill her? I'm gonna fuck her to death. <laughs> 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 That'll be my means of torture. I'm gonna fuck her until she dies. Oh God! <laughs> gonna kill a pussy. Oh no! Don't now you you up. determine how you don't try kill to clean somebody. it up. <laughs> you determine what your uh, kill method is. Yeah, like like I can't like make you choke her. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you gotta use suffocation. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be holding her, nigga. Ah, ah. You gotta use poison meal rolls. No, nah, I'm gonna fuck her to death. Wow, you while choosing? choking her. Okay, I think I think Gabrielle is probably the craziest of this group. In person, in real life, I think that yeah, I'd have to kill her off. I probably wouldn't use your methods, but um, something, something a little more, a little humane. Sinister, huh? a little <laughs> something more a little sin- more humane, uh, like a, a <laughs> knife to the neck. The old like gas, turn on the gas in the garage trick. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Damn, Mary. I think I fucking agree with you again, bro. You're going to have Megan to go good. first next time, man. Megan Good, I, I would have to go with that Megan Good call for the marriage. And Taraji seemed like she would be cool, though, too, to marry, actually. I think Taraji would be a good lay. A good lay? Yeah. See how she's looking off with that smile? Really? Yeah, she don't make eye contact. Oh, is that a good lay? Yeah, that's a good lay. No uh, no eye contact? Yes. Are you like your chicks to just turn their head back up mm. to the ceiling? Ah. <laughs> The no look sex. Look me in my eyes. No. Look in my ear. No. <laughs> Talk nasty to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's wow, Melrose, where'd you get that from, man? 
How'd that come about? Experience. Really? Experience. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. What are you, some type of like <laughs> it's, a, it's just a fuck. Don't look me in my eye. When it's just a fuck, they don't want you to like go all deep with them. Ah, yeah. that mess everything yeah. up. Yeah, don't kiss me in the mouth type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a don't kiss me in the mouth type of thing. Ah. Is that right? Yes. Okay, it's man. Very right. <laughs> that's it. All right, man. That's it, man. We only had two versions, man. <clears throat> okay. Unless you want to make up one. Uh. Like uh, Rihanna, Beyonce, Rihanna. Janet Jackson. How about Ooh. that? I'm going to kill Rihanna. Oh! Blasphemous! I'm, I'm going to kill Rihanna. Oh, stop! Nah. The presses. Bitch got daddy issues. It's gonna be a oh, problem. Oh yeah, she might sue a nigga. Be a problem. <laughs> I see the problem she coming. She might sue you for your name, homie. Killing Rihanna. Oh no. Fucking Beyonce. Ooh. And I'm a married. You gonna marry Janet, Janet I'm Jackson? Miss Jackson, if you nasty. Oh. Marry Janet. Melrose, you gonna go on tour with her? You gonna introduce no. her? Introducing <laughs> Mrs. Wilson. <laughs> Miss Wilson and Jackson Jackson. Wilson. (laughs) Janet Jackson Wilson. (laughs) Anytime, anywhere. (laughs) She would probably keep her name, so she would be like Janet Wilson Jackson. Nigga, okay, look. So she's pretty high powered. You would agree, right? Yeah, I would let her keep her name. Well known all around the world. Yes. She cannot give up the Jackson name. Yes. She right? would be Janet would Wilson Jack. I would have to I would like you would have to add the Wilson, but I understand if you made it like your middle Melrose. name. Melrose. But here's what some niggas do. What's up? They take the wife's name. Would, would, would you do that? I'm not going to Would you do be it. Melvin Jackson? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> You're not going to be Melvin Jackson? I would not be Melvin Jackson. Oh, man. You'd just be... I would disrespect my father. My father would not approve of that. He'd be like, you know, some sucker shit. Oh, she could be Janet Wilson Jackson, but you cannot be... I would not. Come on, man. What about... Okay, would you... Could you... Would you... Could you... <laughs> would you... Could you... Be... Melvin um, Jackson, Jackson Wilson? Wilson? No. Oh, you couldn't even do the little no. intermediate? She wouldn't respect me if I did that. True that. She wouldn't respect me. I would have that. to I would have to Bobby Brown that shit. Like Bobby Brown pulling up to the house with the the rolls, like, fuck it. Nigga smashing into the house. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, <laughs> and running out. Yeah. Ah! yeah, drunk with your shirt off. I love you. <laughs> All right, man. Next item, man. <clears throat> I want to talk about when it's appropriate to give people chances. Melrose. Hmm. Sometimes people deserve a chance. Sometimes they don't. Right? So I'm going to give you these scenarios. And you tell me how many chances, if any, do you give a person. Okay. Number one, starting with cheating. Your mate who you love to death. Cheats on you. Do they get a second chance? Yes. Oh, explain. Um, real life happens, man. Like any, as a former habitual cheater. <laughs> Are you recovered? I'm you, recovering. You recovering one day at a time. Um, <laughs> it's a formal habitual. <laughs> habitual. I, I just think you know it could happen. Yes, and they deserve a break. Yes. Okay, now does it matter if the person is if it's a one time thing or if they got an ongoing thing? Does that matter either way? No. 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 So upon catching, um, you're just like, oh damn. If they say sorry, you good? I'm not it's you not get a second just, chance. It's not just a sorry thing, but But you do I, get a second chance. I would say yeah. If I'm deeply in love and like shit is real and I think that Something's going to be different moving forward. Yes. Why throw away something that could last forever because of a mistake? Somebody Lots of people make mistakes. All right, man. I agree. I agree all the way. I think I feel the same way, man. I, I would. You think? I could agree with. I could agree with forgiving. Okay. Yeah, I could agree with giving you another chance. Yeah. Now, couldn't it be really like more than one chance. No. In that scenario. In that scenario, you only no. get one yeah. chance. Right? Yes. You agree. What about lying? What if this person lies to you? Uh, 
Yes. Multiple lies? Multiple lies. You have to deal with, like, I have a friend who is a liar. Why he lies so much, I don't know. But we know <laughs> that this nigga is probably telling you a lie. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, he has some good friendship <laughs> qualities. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, just <laughs> understanding, I can't really believe shit you say. Without, you know, verifying. Like, you tell me something, I got to prove it right then. Like, But I still you love you. I still love you. <laughs> yeah, you still my nigga. I right. just don't believe you. Uh, you you're, you're, whatever it is. Ahead of time, you Man, already know nah, you don't come believe Come on, I don't believe that shit. Ah, uh, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. The boat, okay, now what if it's somebody you don't know that lies to you? Do they just get one chance? Pretty. It depends on the circumstance, the situation. Let's just say, like, um, shit. I don't know. You go. People lie for a lot of different reasons. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Some people are just very insecure about their truth, so they will cover their truth with a lie. Oh. And like, what what can you say about that? You know what I mean? I can hold you to the kind of standards that you know um, certain men live by, or I could just take it from the viewpoint that we are raised on two different kinds of cloth you know what i mean and you don't have to lie to kick it bro <laughs> yeah you know that, that, I mean? that's important like, fa- that's something important to lay down to people you don't have to lie to kick you it. don't gotta lie you know what i mean if it truth come out coming to find out you're lying about some dumb shit it's like why you know what i mean like it wouldn't have changed anything <laughs> i don't look at you doper <laughs> Because of the story that you told me, or you know what I mean, you could have just been one hundred about the whole shit. <laughs> true that, true that. All right, what about if somebody steals from you? Mm. They you only chance. really get one chance to steal from you. Really? Yeah, somebody call me Mike Robertson Jackson. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> you only get one chance to steal from me. Really? Yeah. Oh, one chance to steal? One chance to steal. Oh, Melrose and that Bef- is- Before, I can't trust you with shit. Like, you know what I mean? I, it's going to be a situation where motherfucker come around, I'm going to make you feel like you the thief in the room. Like, everybody, uh, put, your gotta shit know. Up, oh. put your shit up. Put your shit up. We got one of them in the yeah. room. This nigga clip my phone. I, you know, mm. man, niggas that steal, that I know steal, and I... Like, if you know somebody and you know they steal, generally you know what they steal. Right. You know what I mean? And you can, like, fight against that. Like, some niggas won't steal nothing you got except your car and shit. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. You can't let them around the ride. Some motherfuckers are coming to your house. I don't know niggas that come to my house to steal. Not my I, I would but, not let you in my yeah, house. Yeah, you can't even yeah, get in my yeah, house like, to steal. But maybe just, like, at the workplace... If you steal from me, I'm going to make it. And and once again, because I'm a former thief, I came up in the uh, era of racking and taking shit. Like, we didn't buy shit. That was, like, our rule. Oh, you, know? you came up in that era? Yeah, like, w- Is that Was that a period of time, nigga? It was. A, it was a long period of time. I still struggle <laughs> with, I still struggle with buying shit. Nigga, that shit is forever. Nigga, been stealing since the first nigga stole a coconut but, from a nigga. No, I'm saying for, just for me, I came up, like, our era, we didn't buy shit. Like, that was a rule. Like, nigga, yeah, you are you about to best. buy that shit? <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Give me that shit. Nigga, pay oh, me. <laughs> you gonna buy some right. shit. Buy it from me, motherfucker. But so, <clears throat> I understand these to a certain degree. But... The one thing that we used to always emphasize is we don't steal from each other. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like also Robin Hood shit. Yeah, like we're going to steal from Nordstrom's or 7-Eleven, but don't steal from me. You know what I mean? And sometimes niggas get their klepto mixed up. and they niggas just be stealing. They're just stealing. They just hey, have you, did you live in a hood where they like only let like three niggas in the store at one time and shit? <laughs> yes. Yes. And then we would pretend that we weren't. Together, ah uh, yeah. So we would send three niggas in first. I don't know. And them. then another three niggas yeah. would come in on the decoy. <laughs> I did not know them. Yeah, I don't yeah. know those niggas. They'd be like, "Yes, you do." Yeah, no, I don't. They, you send them niggas in three minutes before you. You ride on the handlebars. Yeah, yeah. I saw you. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, no, I remember we had that kind of store, man. One chance to steal from you. All right. What about? Okay. What about how many chances you get for flaking? Hmm. 
so you're expecting somebody to come through or to give you a ride or to whatever it is. You're counting on your friend and they flake. They don't do it. And they look like they don't have no fucking reason. Varies. 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 So a motherfucker could flake again and again and again? Uh, before I do what? Not rely on Not you for a ride? Not chance, right. Exactly. Like, <laughs> like, if I'm the person that needs to ride. <laughs> well, what you going to do? Eventually, you'll be like, hey, oh, man, I'm fuck still it, man. standing I'm out gonna here. I'm going to find another ride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find another ride. Like, I'm standing out here. Where you at, dude? Um, you know. Damn. Okay, when somebody flakes on you, how many times do you text them? Like, where you at? <laughs> Is it only like once? <laughs> a few? You, like, hey, hey, man, this is some bullshit. Once you get to this some bullshit, yeah. and then fuck it. Fuck, fuck it is the last one. Hey, yeah, man. You give a nigga about like, I say about like two texts. Like, but, but when you're the first person you, that needs to ride, like, you know what I mean? You got to be nicer. Look, you hit him with the text that say ETA with the question mark. <laughs> like, <laughs> where you going to be here? It's getting late. And then you tell them something else like, oh, I'm, I'm waiting at the, I'm on the corner. You can find me at the corner. Like, you get another text. <laughs> hey, it's getting cold out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> should I just leave? Uh, they do not care about that. <laughs> you said, should I just leave? <laughs> uh, for real. Uh, okay, look, what happened? Fuck it, I'm not going. Yeah, it's a, you chose, huh? <laughs> I'll show them. Nigga, that decision was I'll made a you. little time ago. <laughs> what the fuck? Made for you. <laughs> you think you're telling me something? Uh, okay, look, what if somebody, does somebody get a second chance for some bad food? Bad food? Yeah, like you go to somebody's house and they make you a meal and that shit is not the business. Definitely. Do you get another chance? Yes. And then and how many chances do they get? It depends. Like, you know, I've, I've had bad food. Several times for motherfuckers. And and you just keep on going with it? it I depends mean, on how hungry you are. Yeah, hungry like if I'm are. hungry and I'm finna try to eat on the free, like I'm going I'm to give it a chance. Like food is a, a different kind of monster. Everybody can't cook. And I'm accustomed to food being prepared a certain kind of way. So I have a certain expectation. I've been around people who thought the shit was bomb. And I'm like, the shit was bland. You know what I mean? And they're like... That's how we like it, seasoned to taste. Like, that's the salt and pepper from. We like it unseasoned. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we like salt, nothing in our... Who puts salt in their food? Right, exactly. Okay, so. what about going to a restaurant, though? Have you ever been to a restaurant where the shit wasn't good and you gave them another chance? Yes. Mm. Yes. Who was that? Uh, I just had, uh, no disrespect, but Pips uh, last other night. What was that, Saturday? Oh, really? I was very disappointed in my Pips... Uh, Creole pasta? Really? Oh. Oh, oh. My God. oh my God. But I've had decent food from there before. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can just order wrong. Because I had good food. I think I had good items from there. I was very disappointed. Damn. 30, $31. And, and you'll give them another chance? Really? $31? 31 bucks? $31, I think it was. For the dish. Really? <sighs> We having a little day party at Pips <laughs> on Sunday. Hey, hey! If it don't rain, I had to take that one on the chin. I took that one on thirty-one bones. Oh man! And the worst part about it was I had it to go, so there wasn't even a a, a period that I could, um, you know. I think that's isolated, man. Okay, we're not. I'm, I don't mean to put your <laughs> day party on blast. <laughs> I'm not telling. Like I said. Everybody's taste buds are different. Oh, I had a totally different expectation. So what the? But the question is, do you give it another chance? Yes, I will. Next time, I will order um, what hit for me before. Okay, the pizza. I love the pizza there. Oh, okay, I love the pizza there. That's in the title, actually. The p. Oh, okay. Pizza and pasta. So I'm gonna go with the pizza. And I'm gonna stay away from the pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Piss, man. I put on an action little party for the Elliot brother uh, after comedy show. It was dope. I oh, love man. I love the place though. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Just yeah. giving an example. Yeah, first thing That's, that was my on. last experience. That <laughs> right, just happened man. Saturday. All right, look, next one. What about employees, man? How many hmm. chances you give motherfuckers for fucking up in your place? 
Mm. Depends on what they do. Yeah. What about, what about being late? I'm lenient on late. Oh, lenient on late, huh? Yeah. You were supposed to be here, nigga, at 8.30. What time you open? Nine. What if a nigga come at 10.15? It's on his pockets. Oh, really? So you don't even care? I care. What if you don't come I, at all? I, um, hey. I mean... I'm getting to the point where I'm becoming a more scrutinized uh, employer and I'm looking at things differently. So um, I'm I'm starting to cut back on things that I find undesirable as a boss. So if you don't come, I'm kind of looking for a new barber. Okay, so if you look like you're abusing the late shit or whatever, you, it's time to start the, looking for somebody it, else. It, because a lot of times... Like, although we're independent contractors in a barbershop, the fact that you're short on barbers can affect the flow of the barbershop. So this can turn That's what I mean. a 45 minute wait into an hour and a half wait right. for a client. You That's know right. what I mean? So That's right. I too look at it in a sense that I'm going to make more money and I'm still going to charge you for your space. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, but it's short lived though. If a nigga is paying up his space and he ain't showing up, he'll quit. I've had niggas work for a long time and just pay for the space. Really? Yes. Oh, like kind of like the uh like the um um the gyms and shit, gym memberships. Yes. Yeah, like you just pay twenty dollars a month and you <laughs> never go. <laughs> I'm one of those niggas. I've been paying twenty dollars to fucking Planet Fitness for the last year and a half and been 19 times. Damn, really? It's a fact. Yeah, man. That shit is I should do it right now. It's designed for that shit right now. Yeah. So it's car insurance and all this other insurance. We're betting on the fact that you're never going to crash. Right. <laughs> Just keep sending us the money. <laughs> and when you, see, when you fucking crash, I'm going to give you a hard time about paying out. And I hope you crash mm-hmm. during one of them times where you late on your payments because <laughs> we ain't covering that. <laughs> So. <laughs> we are not covering it, baby. Yeah. They 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 slick about when they're gonna cover you. They ask a lot of questions too. Yeah. I had this wreck dude. Were you with, driving fast? I had a wreck where I ran into the back of this dude. And basically he like stopped in the intersection and shit. And I admit that I turned my head. But he's fucking stopped in the intersection. Nobody's supposed to do that, right? Wait, wait, wait. Why did you turn your head? Because um I just was like looking like trying to figure out where I was going. Lies. <laughs> fucking liar. <laughs> Mike Robertson Boulevard show is not about the truth. I just got to it. It's not about the truth. Come on, give me some chances. <laughs> <laughs> give me a second chance. Give me a fucking liar. It's a liar. How many times we you get you to fucking lie to us? There's another chance to tell you. Give the me truth. a chance. What bro. happened? Why did you turn your head? <laughs> <laughs> what was so important uh, that you fucking took your eyes off the road? Why do you must must you dig in deeper to these subject uh, matters, man? Damn, this is a surface level I'm just show. Speaking from the level, this show of is insurance. surface level, man. You know? I'm speaking from the level of insurance. Okay, look, I there is an answer to that, but I can never say that on the air. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Okay, it's fair enough. So we're not covering that. Oh uh, no, no. You know what it was, man. Actually, my phone rang, and I just looked at it, and then dude was like, Arr! and I was like, Arr! bam! And the fucking airbags busted out. Look, first of all, I was only going kind of slow, like twenty miles an hour. But them fucking airbags bust out so hard, I felt all like accosted and shit, nigga, like, abused by the airbag. The motherfucker was all up on me. And look, you could smell the motherfucker. No, that I why you smell gonna... bullshit in this story. No, nigga, for real. I'm talking about for real, dude. Okay. And that shit, like, burnt my arms and shit and, like, bust all up on my chest. I was like, what the fuck is this? I had never had it happen before, dude. Going 20 miles an hour, the airbag. Gotcha. Fuck me up. Hey, if that's your story, stick to it. And then, look, the the police was like, Look, the police was like this, dude. This is what he said. He was like, I saw so he was her like, too. He was standing. He tried to like hit me, like, he tried to catch me off guard, right? And the whole time I was standing there, I was like, oh, he said, I saw her too. <laughs> the whole time I was standing there, I was like, I'm waiting for this nigga to ask me this question. 
and he gonna try to slip it in. Uh, so the nigga was like, he was like <laughs> asking me shit, like, yeah, okay, man, yeah, this shouldn't be that much, man. It shouldn't cost you that much. Yeah, man, you know, we just called a tow truck. So he's coming over here right now, and um, uh, were you on your phone? He threw that in there, and I was like, oh. who me? I was like, no, no. nigga. Let me see it. <laughs> Go to your last call log. Yeah, go to your last kiss off. <laughs> I was like, no, how dare you? <laughs> it's an invasion of privacy. You need a warrant for that. I don't use a fucking phone. What the hell's wrong with you, man? He threw that in there, man, but I was cool with it, man. I was smooth. No, sir. I was like, man, what? No, nah, man, you tripping. I would never. And he was like, mm-hmm. And he looked at me like, nigga, you lying. <laughs> You're a liar. Sorry. Like you just did. Yeah, I, I saw her too. <laughs> <laughs> we know her. That's Trudy. <laughs> Trudy with a big booty causes lots of accidents at this intersection. <laughs> <laughs> we wrote a restraining order on her. You were actually trying to snap a picture she came of that back. ass, weren't you? You were trying to snap a picture of give that your, ass. Right, give me your phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't show me the call, that. Go to the pictures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's, there's Trudy. There's Trudy. This is actually a sting we picked. Yeah, it's a sting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Trudy is a plant. God damn it. Uh, we got your eyes and everything. Yeah. If you look right here, we see your eyeballs right <laughs> getting wide and shit. Yeah. Man, that would be bad. The picture dude. at the intersection. Your eyes are right here at your phone out. <laughs> <laughs> Next chance. What's the next chance? <laughs> oh, man. What the fuck? Last chance. Um, I don't even know what I meant by this. I said reputation? Somebody fuck up your reputation? I don't know. Fuck that chance shit. Fuck the chances. <laughs> Melrose, man. What up? Oh, look. I neglected to talk about your movie, man. Oh, no doubt, man. Feature film 98 Problems will be out on <clears throat> Amazon... Uh, Friday. Dude, that shit was so fucking funny, bro. Thank I'm, you, I'm man. trying to tell you, man. Like, the whole fucking theater was rolling. Literally, dude, I was sitting in there like, damn, I've laughed like a hundred times in this motherfucker. It was, uh, I mean, to be a part of that project, man, um, it, it was a blessing for me, you know what I mean? Because that was the first time I saw it, and I think from... Oh, that was your first time seeing it? Yeah, the whole shit. All together? Like, I just... I, I didn't read the script. I didn't know what the shit really was about. You I just, just came part, in, huh? did my scenes, and two years later, I walked into that theater. Two years later? Y'all did that shit two years ago? It was about two years ago. Oh, shit. Well, he put in work on it, man. There was that a lot of fumbling hilarious. with the editing, and but um, shout out to Kevin Watts, man. He did an excellent job, and what I admire most about the brother is he stuck with it, and he saw it to the end, because there were so many times when niggas would have just abandoned the shit, like, it ain't working, it ain't coming out right. He stuck to it, stuck to his guns, and it's one of those situations that was so inspiring that just makes us want to do it again and again and again and to get better, because, uh, you know... Watching it, we were able to see our mistakes and see our faults and then, you know, see our accomplishments and our and our wins and the whole thing. So it was a dope thing, man. Amazon comes out Friday, 98 Problems, Kamira White, myself, Mike Sandoval, all of the local comedian niggas had a chance to make an appearance in it. And I think this is what it's really about. The niggas us said had a our... chance. <laughs> what yeah. does that mean? Like um, niggas got offers, but they didn't show up? Um, it wasn't even like that. It was just a situation to where a lot of times, man, shit be non-inclusive. You know what I mean? Like everybody had an opportunity to be a part of it. Like we were making parts for motherfuckers. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Nigga said non-inclusive. It's, like for uh, okay. real. So it's like, like the Wizard of Oz of motherfucking films and shit. Nigga just say that. I, if I only had a part. <laughs> hey. If, you could be in this film. What do you mean? Hold your head up high. Shut the fuck up. Real talk. But I mean, it was just one of those things where it's like, yo, man, what you doing? Come film with us. Nah. All right. You know what I mean? Like, it was yeah. just that type of situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't got to beg nobody and shit to be in the motherfucker. So I'm, I'm very excited about how it came out. It was funny as fuck. 
I felt great about the whole project. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, it's some. It's one for the uh, history books. I am uh, officially co-starring in a feature film, and I'm gonna push it and sell it like it's uh, you know gold. Damn, like it's yeah. gold. Like it's shit. gold. Two, <clears throat> two. Friday, I'm um, featured in the new Royce the Five Nine cocaine video they just dropped a fucking trailer today right, it's blowing up like crazy who asked you I, I did i did i'm just gonna throw that out there too friday is a really big day for me bro who asked you no nah, not for real man nah, friday's a big day man you give me an opportunity you say you golden dust what you say huh you said something about gold or something i'm gonna sell it like this gold uh, the movie 98 problems amazon prime drops friday uh, you know, you get a chance. If you didn't make the premiere, you get a chance to download it for 99 cents and watch that motherfucker, man. Man, you can just pop some bottles, Melrose. You know what I mean? I am. Throw some gold glitter in the air. I'm going to do that. You know what? I saw this shit on, on Twitter that was trending the other day where they got these pills that have, like, edible glitter in them. Mm. It's like golden glitter. They're like capsules. Sounds soft. And then you eat the motherfuckers, and it make your, like, when you go to the bathroom, it make that shit, like, go, <laughs> like, glittery. <laughs> like, I don't think that's good if you're just going to put it in the toilet. It I'm make your shit bling, bling, hey, nigga. If you're just hey. going to waste that in the toilet, my nigga, don't take the capsule. It make your shit bling. <laughs> That sounds well, like who a, gets to see it, dude? That's what I'm saying. That sounds like a golden shower waiting to happen. That sounds like that's a golden true. shower. Look, I ain't going to just sit on you regular. Yeah. <laughs> hey, turn the light on. I'm going to give you some. Yeah. Turn the light on. You're going to ah. need to see this. Right. That's not regular piss, mom. You got a trip light? <laughs> that's not regular I piss. I niggas be like sitting at the airport and don't flush it so niggas can see his bling. Oh, oh, but yo, 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 I got to say this, man. That Royce of Fire 9 joint is a is a super dope um, situation. What the fuck? What? Oh, the video? Yeah, man. Like oh. The cocaine video for Royce of Fire 9 drops Friday. Uh, my son and myself star in it. And it's, it's about uh, a father being on cocaine. And why it was so on special? Cocaine, what the on fuck? Cocaine, is that? brother. Oh, Co- oh dope, oh, nigga. Oh. Dope. Sounds Snorted. like you said kale cane, nigga. Like, like green lettuce, yeah, nigga. No. Like a salad. Cocaine, cane, nigga. What the fuck? But this is why it was so special to me because um, took a hit. I did in the video. You'll see. <laughs> really? Yeah. In I'm the video, sure. nigga <laughs> qualified it. Melrose, you be fucking with that shit? Come on, that's not some shit you asked a nigga on air. <laughs> He said, that's not the shit you asked a nigga on air. You got to see me at the party. <laughs> Come on, give me a chance. <laughs> you got to see me at the party. See how I really get down, man. You can't ask me no shit like that. Yeah, nigga, you got to play. You got to play to play, huh? Are we live? Are hey. we live? Right. Are we live? Melrose ain't got no job and shit. It don't matter. <laughs> what company, motherfucker? Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just saying... Um, we shot the video, and ironically, it was on my father's birthday. I went through some of the same struggles with my father. So it was like a real emotional, real thing to do it with my son. And they just dropped a trailer today. And to see it, it, it just like it was an emotional, you know, thing. And I think it's going to be a really big video, and it's a really good look. Damn, okay. Yeah. Go get your followers up and shit. You going to post it? Hey, it's not even about that, man. <laughs> On some real shit. It's just about, you know, nigga, I, I, I got the job, I did the work, and, and the whole time, this was used to this was blowing me away about the whole shit. The whole time they was referring to me as an actor, and I'm like, damn, they are like really buying this shit. Yeah, like, like can you bring in the actors, please? Ah, bring in the actor. And white 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 men were coming to me like Niggas was powdering you? Bro. You niggas powder you? You're killing it. Really? <laughs> Keep going. Keep you're, doing. You're it. killing it, bro. Did you get powdered? I did get powdered. They powdered. Uh, they <laughs> they made me look like I've been uh, doing dope for four days. Like really? I had bags under my eyes and the whole what kind shit. of what did they use for the dope? It was just uh, baking soda. Oh, baking soda. Yeah, I didn't snort it, but I, I did a real good job of making it look like I did. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so you just kind of. And like... when I was hitting it, they were like bigger. 
Oh, bigger. Yeah, like, like do it bigger. Al Pacino. Yes, yeah. Did you have like a? Did you have a pile type shit like oh, Scarface? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They were like, and then it was like they were breaking it down. Like, yo, that's 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 too much cocaine for one nigga. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> that's seventy five thousand dollars right there. <laughs> Those lines are too big. Break them down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, chop it up. Do it Get like it down uh, to about four G's. <laughs> It was dope, though. It's a uh, dope experience, really? man. I'm very excited about it. Uh, you know, I'm looking for 5 million views on this joint. Oh, 5 million? I'm looking for 5 million Who views. Who was in that motherfucker? Show. Kodak Black, nigga? Nope. Melrose Uncut. I don't know if, he, I don't know if Royce, Royce got nine. any 5 million type shit. Oh, he do. Does he? He do. All the ones with Eminem? Come on, don't be a hater your whole <laughs> life, Mike. Don't be a <laughs> Hey, hate is trending. <laughs> oh, Mike want to be in the video. Oh, the Eminem was? I want to be the nigga serving the dope. I want to be the nigga serving the dope. Who served the dope? Who served the dope? You know you got that shit from somewhere. <laughs> Why can't be me, nigga? Uh, I'm excited, oh, though. Oh, man. Nah, that's cool, man. Friday's a real big day. 98 Problems, Royce the Fine Line, Cocaine. What hey, more can you ask for? Man, fucking a bigger check. Mm. Bigger chick? Check. C H I C? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you said bigger chick. Check, man. <laughs> How much bigger, Melrose? <laughs> so, so, Mike, what do you have going on Friday? <laughs> I got big chicks coming hey, through. <laughs> Mike, so what's your Friday look I got like? Big chicks coming through. Nigga, we have it. Oh. Uh, pop tunes, nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've got an interesting story. <laughs> Interesting album came in the mail today. <laughs> You've got to get your own. Oh, uh, pretty good, Mel Rose, man. That's, that's pretty good, man. Thank you, good brother. All right, man. I owe all the Mike Robertson Boulevard. Like, shit wasn't happening in my life until I started fucking with this podcast. Do not so sleep. So I just want to thank you for giving me the opportunity yes. to uh, shine and learn this podcast thing. It, it's been a It's been a great journey, man. I really appreciate you including me, my brother. All right, man. I can't even make a joke about that. That was real special. That was a fucking joke. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, nigga, can't let it ride, nigga. It's a, it's the real deal. Can we re- rewind this shit? Can you say it again, Mel Rose? Yeah, uh, really Please, appreciate one more time, man. <laughs> All right, man, and let it go, man. Really you don't have to fucking ride on it. Damn, you shit on me and throw it at me, nigga. Real monkey shit. <laughs> Yo man, I really appreciate this bullshit. Really appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate you inviting me down to this yeah. bullshit every week. Oh uh, man, you're a funny nah, guy. No, nah, real talk though, real talk though. Nah man, it's whatever, been an excellent it's too late. opportunity. It's too late. Man. It's too late. It's too late, man. All right, fuck. we gotta do that next week fuck. if you're gonna do it. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> I'll, I'll tweet about it. Yeah, you can tweet. What me. about Donald Trump? Let's just talk about Donald Trump and the fucking cheeseburgers for the Clemson Tide, motherfuckers. First of all, the nigga, uh, he did that for one reason. He was on some Kanye shit. No? no, no, no. He did that for one reason. One reason only. He invested in McDonald's? That motherfucker wanted some for himself. McDonald's? That's, yeah. That's what he eats. Really? Yeah. He's McDonald's. So he figured that if he would order a bunch for everybody, he could sit there and eat like uh, what, he eat, what he normally eats. He really eats McDonald's? That's what he eats. He's a fucking true white man. Yeah, you seen his fucking fat fart ass? Nigga, that's McDonald's fat. Nigga, <laughs> that ain't no ordinary fat. Right. That's, his that's cheeks loose. Are, his cheeks are like <laughs> that's loose McDonald's fat. <laughs> Cherry Is that, was that disrespectful? I think it was saying that like no the, to have the yes, yeah, no class. To have the audacity to think that um, you're gonna impress these kids with McDonald's. You know what I mean? You come to the White House. Yeah, like why not like cater? Get one of your cater friends to come and. You're f- supposed to be a billionaire and shit. Get the motherfuckers to come. Get the White House chef to cook up some shit. Something, man. Oh, but they said since the since the shutdown, the chefs were gone. That's what they said, basically. Oh. And he couldn't think of shit. So he said, we couldn't Let's do get- P.F. Chains or nothing, huh? Yeah, he couldn't think of nothing. Couldn't do Shay Shay White at all, huh? <laughs> Not even five guys, you know what I mean? That nigga went to McDonald's. But he eats McDonald's. But, you know, I think the worst part about that is... It had to be cold at that point. And oh, everybody you know knows that McDonald's is not cold, good when it's cold. No, because it's barely good when it's hot. Did they get to the microwave it? That's the only question I would ask. Did you get to the microwave your shit? Come on, man. 50 niggas microwaving burgers? Hell no. Nah. Nah. Donald Whatever, Trump, All right. I'm disappointed in the McDonald's run. 
That's a, that's some real high shit. <laughs> we just figured out Donald Trump smoked is weed. on some high shit. Yeah. He's on he probably on his CBD oil, nigga. He probably uh, three traps. Nah, he time. probably ain't. All right, look, man. Anyway, thanks, y'all, man. Mike Robertson, man. Thanks for listening. No doubt. We love you know sitting here talking crazy and shit in front of you guys, man. It's it's, it's a blessing. This right? Friday, Amazon Prime, ninety eight problems. Check the Royce Five Nine cocaine video out. Shit is gonna be a smash. Help Melrose get to five million views, please. <laughs> Somebody call Eminem. <laughs> Tell him we need him, man. Yes. Jump on a verse. <laughs> Tweet the shit out. <laughs> Fucking hater. <laughs> Mike Robinson Boulevard. I like uh, my green with gold. <laughs> I'm green with crystals like folders, picking up momentum, rolling like boulders. They call me ice, but I'm really much colder. My rhymes is heavy like the weight on my shoulders. I'm spitting that red hot smoldering lava. I fight to the end like the Navajo. Crack a bottle though, make it the goose with cranberry and triple sec. Triple my check, I feel the ripple effect of a fool on the loose. I hit you from every angle, from up twos to right street shit like J. J. I'm dynamite. Slide me some dough. I show you an execution in the flesh. And promise not to leave nothing left. If you bomb it, I keep stabbing, shooting, damaging, looting. Till it ain't no disputing who the greatest is.